What is up everybody? It is Game Fanatic Cook and today we're talking about the Grenier in Warframe. And as you can probably tell from uh, the video title, we're talking about why their lives kind of suck. Um, you know, they're one of the main factions in Warframe. You're always just killing, <laughs> killing them as a Tenno, just slaughtering them, killing hundreds at a time per mission, going through them like they're nothing. But uh, unfortunately, that kind of just sucks for the Grenier because they kind of have a tough run of luck if we're being honest. So first we'll get into a little bit of history with the Grenier to talk about that. And we're going to talk about why it kind of really sucks that uh, they just get killed all the time because it's really unfair to them. First, so let's just get into it. First off, the Grenier were originally created as clones by the Orcan Empire to essentially serve as slaves and basically just do like menial labor tasks like build things, um, work in like warehouses and transport shit, like just really basic menial task labor shit. Uh, you know, basically doing what my job is now essentially. Anyway, so during the old war, a Grenier somehow managed to kill a sentient and that actually had the Orkin begin to breed, or not breed, clone um, Grenier's specifically created for war. So they took that Grenier that killed a um, sentient and basically mass cloned just him so they can create a more violent powerful Grenier clone and use them as soldiers in the old war they uh, did eventually lose that war even with Grenier help but the Grenier did help somewhat because they were pretty powerful and there was just so many clones of them the Grenier and this is where it gets kind of fucked up what the Orican did the Grenier were purposely made simple minded by the Orican and without current Orican without the current Without the Orkin technology used to create them, they're currently being made not only still simple-minded, but they're also more genetic issues because how dirty and how often the genetic tubes that are, are used to create them, um, are the tubes used to create them. There's so many issues because how dirty and fucked up they are, and they're not Orkin technology. So basically now the Grenier have all these DNA genetic issues because of their current uh, cloning conditions, and they also have the original... Uh, issue the Orkin purposely put in, in them of them being simple minded and geared towards violence so that's pretty terrible and then not only that once the Grenier come out and do keep in mind they are simple minded they are cloned to be violent but they're still free thinking they still have free will and can make their own choices which we can see when they uh, desert or when they just, you know, individual Grenier make their own choices and maybe you don't like certain Grenier and stuff like that. And you can see through their hate of the Tenno, their fear of death when you uh, kill them, and all these different options, and even their love for their brothers and loyalty to the Queens. So these Grenier have a full range of emotions that are just a little bit dumb. And after they're cloned, they're merely subjugated to pretty much brainwashing, essentially, by, a, uh, by the Twin Queens in their complete control over the Grenier mindset and over like I guess the states like North Korea-esque how the twin queens control the Grenier so they really don't have a chance to really think on their own even though they have the capability to be free thinkers they don't know a world outside the Grenier army and that's really just unfortunate to them not only are there all these terrible things I've already mentioned that kind of screw over their lives they are having incredibly short lifespans due to those genetic issues so they don't even get to live that long and really get to find themselves out they have free will and they have the constant impending like impending fear of death because they live such short lives i really couldn't find a average lifespan number but i believe it is very short and i'm thinking like maybe 10 years is probably what it is <clears throat> but maybe even less than that depending on the genetic deformities that they're born with but yeah, so I mean, it's really pretty awful. And not only that, but the Grenier that do stay and don't defect, that choose to stay loyal to the Twin Queens, which is most of them, they believe they're doing the right thing. They believe they're trying to make a better world for their brothers and for themselves. They believe they're helping the right people, and that they're on the good guy side. They don't think they're the bad guys. I don't think they're doing something wrong. They think they're morally correct. And they're getting slaughtered for it and treated like shit, essentially. And they're a little bit too simple-minded to really realize the other options. And also all the brainwashing and, uh, you know, propaganda that's shoved down their throat keeps them from really thinking any differently and leaving the Twin Queens. I mean, think about it. Loyalty is generally an extremely positive trait in someone. 
but in the Grenier, it's kind of mixed, like, and seen as a bad thing, because how loyal they are to the queens and how loyal they are to each other. So really, I mean, that's a good trait to have, but it's just, you know, in that scenario, it's not good, because they're doing pretty much war atrocities 24-7. But, I mean, this shows that they aren't necessarily bad, they're just in a bad situation. So, I mean, it's pretty awful. And, even worse than that, the only chance the Grenier have to become more intelligent, to become more powerful, to live a long life, is the Kuva blood that is provided by the Twin Queens. So the only way to get that Kuva blood is by somehow impressing the Queens, or, you know, perhaps they could steal it, but I don't think that's ever worked before. They'd probably just get killed. But the only way to get a longer and better life is by impressing the Twin Queens, which obviously motivates you to be even more loyal to the Grenier and their goals. So it's pretty option. It's pretty awful. And even when they are born, their two options at life is to be a slave laborer or a soldier. There's no other options. That's their two things they get to do. So, uh, yeah, their lives suck. They live short lives, are purposely made and cloned to be kind of dumb. They're born violent. They have to work as slaves or soldiers, usually have violent deaths. And if they don't have violent deaths, they just die young. And they serve someone that really doesn't care about them in the Twin Queens. So yeah, pretty sad for Grenier. And when you're killing them and just mowing down through them, you're killing all these things with free will and a high enough level of intelligence to have a speaking language, communicate with each other, form bonds with one another, you know, have brotherhood, have loyalty. You're just kind of mowing them down and killing them like without a second thought as a Tenno. That's really just kind of like a shame to think about. Because like, wow, each one of these dudes are individuals and they just have terrible, awful lives and have terrible propaganda that kind of makes them evil and they never had a chance, really, to think any differently. And the ones that do get that chance usually do defect. So it's like, wow, we're just killing all these innocents, pretty much. Because, I mean, they're, the whole average Grenier clone is pretty much innocent in their mindset because they think they're doing the right thing, you know? Obviously, you make the argument like people like Vahek and, you know... I was about to say Vor, but even Captain Vor, his whole existence is a goal to make the Grenier lives better. So I don't want to say Vor is really misguided or wrong. I mean, he's misguided and wrong, but I'm saying, like, his thought process isn't misguided or wrong. Like, he believes he's doing the right thing. Vahek is a little bit insane and kind of evil. So maybe we uh, we, we don't include him as one of the loyal ones. So he kind of screws over his own, his, own soldier, his own soldiers. But, I mean, look at Cal, even, you know? It really goes to show that there is loyalty and there is love for one another. And they do have free will, they do think. And you're kind of just slaughtering them without thinking about that. <laughs> so it's pretty awful. But yeah, that's why uh, Grenier's life suck. And that's just a little quick summary of it. Thank you guys for watching and peace out.